Okay, YouTubers, this is the Angry Prepper. So today's episode, we're going to talk about are more lockdowns coming? Now, why do I ask this question? Well, some of you saw my live stream the other night, and so you know exactly what I'm about to say. But for those of you that didn't see the live stream, the reason why I'm questioning more lockdowns, because it seems like every day I turn the news on or read a newspaper, there's some new variant, there's some new uh, virus out there that they're watching and starting to grow and it's going to become a concern by fall. And they're starting all of this narrative or storytelling shit so that by the fall, they're like, all right, we're going to have to lock down because of X, Y, and Z. So the first story that they're going to run, or not that they're going to run, but they're starting to push that I started noticing is the uh, India variant, right? The COVID India variant. They're calling it Delta, but I'll never call it Delta or any of those other fucking Echo and Bravo and Alpha. I'm never going to call any of that. Let's just call it where it is, where it is and where it came from. Stop trying to fucking make the Chinese feel happy because they only did this for the Chinese. They only changed the variant names to, I guess, uh, I guess Greek lettering or whatever it is because they don't want the Chinese to fucking be mad at them. So instead of calling it the, the, the Chinese virus or the India virus, they're calling it Delta, Alpha, Bravo, and all that bullshit. Before you know it, guys, they're going to be a hundred something different variants, and then what? Right? And then you're going to run out, and then you're going to get confused at some point, because what if there's over fucking 200 and something variants by the time next year comes around? There's not 200 fucking letters, so how are you going to fucking figure that out? Anyway, being that the, the Indian variant is, uh, we're watching what's going on in India, and a lot of people are getting sick, and their death rate is still under 1%. Whatever. We're not going to get into that. The point is that they're trying to push this narrative now about the Delta uh, variant. Sorry, the India variant. So that by fall, they could possibly tell us, hey, the India variant is, is, is strong and a lot of people are being sick by it. We're going to have to lock it down again. Right? So now, guys, look at it this way. The elites, if you will, the people in charge, whoever the fuck are, they are the dealer at the uh, gambling table, right? At the card table. And they have all these cards on the table right now. And right now, all the cards are face down. And they're looking at the cards and going, which one are we going to use to fucking tell the story to get people to get locked down again, or to have people locked down again? The problem with people who, lock, who, who are fine with locking down is they're the cowards of the world. They're the people who don't want to fight back. They're the people who will listen to the government and suck the government's dick because they're like, yes, sir, boss. Anything you say, sir, I do it. Yes, sir. They're like the fucking tap dancing step and fetch into the world right now because so many people are jumping on board with this shit because they got scared they got scared and now they're willing to fucking let anything and everything scare them i'm a thousand percent sure these people are fucking scared of their own shadows because the new of the other lockdown um variant not variant but virus they're looking at is rsv now rsv is respiratory syncytial virus please don't ask me to say that again but that's a virus that's on the rise. And according to uh, the media, sorry, the CDC, it's more prevalent to down south, like Georgia area. So with that, they're like, oh, we have to keep an eye on it because we don't know if it's going to get out of hand. And if it does, so the fuck what? It's been around for fucking ever. And all of a sudden you're gonna have people get scared about that. Another variant that they're looking to scare people with, not variant, but virus they're looking to scare people with is RSV. Now, the crazy thing about RSV is in the article, it says it mimics COVID. No, COVID mimics it because that was out first. It's the COVID mimics the flu. A lot of things, with the exception of the loss of taste and smell, a lot of things that COVID mimics. Now, with that, the RSV symptoms are the same thing, guys. It's uh, sneezing, runny nose, headache, coughing, right? And, and all right, so then what? I have that symptom. That could be anything. It could be the flu. It could be the common cold. But this is where we're going, right? So they're like, all right, let's get RSV on deck, guys. And if the COVID variant doesn't work, we're going to whip out RSV. And if RSV doesn't work, we're going to whip out the H10N3 bird flu. Scare the shit out of more people. Because China had a first transmission from bird to human or animal to human, so they say. Animal to human. And then it stopped at that guy. The guy that got the H10N3 or the bird flu, sorry, he was the only guy to get it and it stopped at him. You mean to tell me a billion motherfuckers in China, this one dude gets it and that's it, it stopped at him? 
and how did they know he had it now they knew he had it sorry after months of trying to figure out why he's still sick and they said months so they figured it out but it took them months to figure it out so if it took them months to figure it out how the fuck did it stop with him Right now, it didn't say he was hospitalized. It didn't even say that he went home or he was going home and being checked out. It didn't say any of that. But I refuse to believe that this guy who had the bird flu was in a hospital and didn't give it to anybody else or was at home and didn't give it to anybody else. Nonetheless, that is something that, you know, at least that one we should watch because I'm not mistaken, the uh, mortality rate's a little higher. But that's going to be another card that's on the dealer's table that they could probably use if the... Uh, COVID variant and the, sorry, the India variant and the RSV doesn't work. We'll whip out the H10N3, bird flu, lock everyone down, right? Then there's climate lockdown, which climate lockdown sounds a little more forceful than the last three I just mentioned, because it seems like if we have to go on a climate lockdown, we're going to tell power companies what they can do and what they can't do. We're going to tell people that they can't eat meat anymore. We're going to tell people that they can't drive their cars. They're going to be less cars driven and only people of importance can drive their cars. And I'm like, what? That sounds like a fucking Hitler regime telling people what they can and can't do and that power companies are going to take a bigger hit and have to be forced to do emergency shutdowns. What the fuck does emergency shutdown mean to power companies? This is what happens when you have a scared America or a scared world. They'll listen to anything. Oh my God, cows? Cows are causing climate change? We have to, we have to stop eating meat. Absolute and utter bullshit. And if you believe that cows are part of our climate change, you're about as stupid as the day is long. Because we have pollution being pumped into the air by the billions of tons a year. And we draw the line at cows? Give me a fucking break. We have airplanes in the air thousands at a time every day. And cows are where you draw the line. Or cars. Probably billions around the world pumping shit into the atmosphere and cows is where you go so instead of coming out with cleaner cars cleaner planes telling fucking uh chemical companies to cut their shit and stop pumping the shit in the air or matter of fact just close the fucking the factories down instead of going with those simple really easy basic moves you go after cows you go after meat eaters the climate lockdown, guys, that one sounds a little more harsh. That one sounds a little more forceful. That one sounds like some uh, Hitler-esque regime shit. Telling people what they're going to do and how they're going to do it and telling companies how they're going to operate and what they're going to operate and, in fact, that they might have to shut down. They should be shutting down those companies, though, those companies that are pumping that billions of tons of pollution in the air every, every year. They should be shutting them down first. Shut them down first and then see whether or not cows are actually contributing it. Lessen the flights in the skies. Then talk about uh, cows. Limit, not even limit the cars. Make cars cleaner. Then tell me about the fucking uh, cows. If all of that doesn't work, then we look at the cows. And even then, fuck that. I'm never giving up meat. They can really eat my ass with that bullshit. Not giving up meat. That's how a lot of us function. The world is not meant to be fucking vegans. I don't know why vegans think this shit, but it doesn't fucking work that way. And it doesn't work in the world where if the chips are down, vegan is an afforded lifestyle. It's an afforded lifestyle for those who can live it now. When the chips are down, when the shit is on, guys, you're not going to be a fucking vegan. You're not going to be sitting there looking a fucking, uh, at, at a dinner table when you're starving going, oh, is there meat on there? I'm not eating that. You're not doing that. You're eating the fucking meat. You're going to eat what it takes to survive. Meat is what it, one of the things that makes it, will help us survive. You can only eat vegan for so long. Now, if you're a prepper and you're vegan, that's a different story. You got your shit squared away. But if you're a vegan and you're not a prepper and you get caught out there, you're not going to be a vegan for very long. The climate lockdown is the more for concern because, like I said, they're going to impose extreme energy saving uh, measures and they're going to tell fossil fuel companies to stop drilling just like that. Just stop. Don't. Nope. No, no, no. We don't want to hear it. Just stop. How does that sound? How does it even look? That's the bigger issue. But again, that lockdown, climate lockdown, that is, is not for a couple of years. I don't see them doing that this year. But the other variant lockdowns or viruses or, or, or the, the norovirus, which is another one they're starting to mention more, 
I can see them locking us down for stupid shit. Like, oh, the flu's up again, guys. We're going to have to lock the city down so people don't get sick. That's where we're going. I, I, I have a feeling that's where we're going. Now, I did say, by, I said a couple videos that by the fall we'll see another lockdown. Let's wait and see. I don't know because I don't know anymore what the fuck's going to happen. So many things are happening from a day-to-day -day basis, from cyber attacks to fucking new viruses popping up. Who knows? The only thing I know for sure is that we just need to stay ready. That's it. Stay ready, be ready, and we should be okay. So other than that, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching. You can like, subscribe to this channel. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Telegram. Other than that, guys, thank you.